Welcome. All right, so what I have here is t equals 3 pi over 4. And what I want to do is show you how to evaluate your six trigonometric functions and given this angle 3 pi over 4. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to find where this angle is going to intersect our unit circle and determine that point. By knowing that point on the unit circle, we can evaluate the six trigonometric functions based on exactly what that coordinate is. So what I need to do is I need to determine, well, where is 3 pi over 4? And actually, i got to change this to 5 pi over 4. Sorry about that. So anyways, let's go ahead and determine where 5 pi over 4 is. Okay, So if I'm going to go out and graph 5 pi over 4, um, we know that we're always going to start here at our initial side. And we notice, first of all, we have pi over 4, but 5 pi over 4 is not going to be in the first quadrant. So if we start here, um, we know halfway around is going to be pi. Since I'm taking a denominator of 4, I'm going to rewrite that as 4 pi over 4. Well, 4 pi over 4 means I can break this up into 4. So that's pi over 4, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi over 4. So to find 5 pi over 4, I'm going to I'm gonna have to break up my lower half of my uh, unit circle into 4s. And therefore, I can see by counting 5 fourths, I'll see that's my initial, that's my terminal side. So now what I need to do is determine, well, what is this coordinate point? Well, you can see that this point is the exact reflection of this point up here. right? And this point is only pi over 4 away from our initial side. So therefore, it's this exact same point, but now reflected into the third quadrant. So if this is x, y, which we know it's square root of 2 over square root of 2, um, square root of 2 over 2 divided, comma square root of 2 over 2, we know that this coordinate now is going to be negative x, negative y. So therefore, the point is going to be the exact same point as pi over 4, but the negative value of it. So t equals negative square root of 2 over 2, comma negative square root of 2 over 2. So therefore, now let's go and evaluate these six points. So to evaluate the sine of our angle, that's going to be equal to our uh, x or y coordinate. So it would be negative square root of 2 over 2. The cosine is going to be the x coordinate. So that would be negative 2 over 2. Tangent is going to be the y coordinate over the x coordinate. Well, they're both going to divide into 1, and the negatives will divide into 1. So we're just left with the positive 1. The cosecant is going to be 1 over the y coordinate, square root of 2 over 2. The secant is going to be 1 over the x coordinate. I'm sorry, the y. Yeah, the x coordinate. I don't think I'm losing my mind. And the cotangent, again, is going to be the same as the x over the y. Now, just like it was for tangent, that's just going to simplify into 1 as my negative signs um, divide into 1. And those are the exact same. Well, I don't even know what that was. The, these square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2, those are exactly the same. So they're just going to divide into 1. Here, I'm going to want to multiply by my reciprocal. So 2 over square root of 2, 2 over square root of 2. I thought I did something looking at that. So square root of 2 multiplies out. So therefore, I'm left with a negative 2 over the square root of 2. Now I rationalize the denominator. And therefore, I'm going to get um, negative 2 times square root of 2 over 2. Move it out of that. It's just going to be left with a negative square root of 2. Um, for cosecant, you can see that's exactly the exact same problem. So therefore, that answer is also going to be negative square root of 2. So therefore, therefore, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate your six trigonometric functions. Thanks.